Shalom. First off, I'm going to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makakadash. It's all praises to the to who the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the host elect preachers, word and truth and sincerity. My brother Charles Abad in the Great Millstone, there is on the camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And uh, lo and behold, through the Spirit of the Lord, our elders and apostles, on point again, man. On point again, because what? The mark of the beast, right? The MOTB, which is that implantable chip, is being shown to have more and more information come out, right? More and more information come out. And now all the heathen are reporting it. How is it like all these Edomite evangelical Christians are talking about this technology and the MOTB? And you got men in Israel, right, calling themselves prophets and teachers, not even covering this. Or if they do cover it, they just now getting into it. How is that, man? Right? Well, the scriptures tell you the Lord was pouring spirit out, right? Let's get that. It's Joel 2 and 28, it says, And it shall come to pass after that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And that's what's happening. The Lord is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. Now everybody's talking about it. Well, and what are they sitting there all, all every time tying it back to? The prophecies of the Lord. All right, so I'm going to play this and then get some precepts and Lord will this be edifying. Stories we're going to cover tonight on the show, specifically and a story that's... And it's cold, man. It's it's beautiful, too, because I was uh, working. You know, I get to play some news and everything when I'm working. And it, this is one of those videos. I got to watch it live. And um, he was going into this. I just, I was, I didn't have the opportunity to be able to make a, a lesson right then and there. And then I see Apostle Tahar saw the same video. So the Lord is putting the prophet's eyes on these things on purpose. Got no attention at all because they don't want you to know about it, which is the central bank digital currencies and what's about to happen to our money supply as these globalists get their hand on the control of the tokenization process, telling you what you can use your money for. Uh, turning it off whenever they want, and how exactly this will be implanted into your body. Wait until you hear from a World Economic Forum insider on exactly how this is all going to unfold. Uh, plus, we are not at war with China, but we are launching a spy war with China. China says, we're not going to let you. you. Let's play some of that back. You're seeing it right there. That prophecies are hitting people in the face. They're talking about an implantable chip. An implantable chip for the CBDC and brothers for a long time have been going into this. I've made that I've made lessons on it, and I let's let me see. Let's go to my videos. All right. See if I can get it to pull up only my videos. Nah, man, I can't. I have my phone. I don't think so. Let's see. Nope. Man, that's some bullshit. But, uh, I've gone into plenty of videos going to the CBDC, right? Let's just put it on here. GMS, Tazaba. See if it pulls up. Man, I wish I could just filter them, man, because I've gone into plenty of videos on the CBDC. 
And so have other brothers, man. So the prophets of Great Millstone, the brothers of Great Millstone, the teachers, the elders and apostles have been hitting, hitting on the mark for enough time now that we see what? That the CBDC is on its way and it's going to be tied in with the implantable chip, the mark of the beast, right? And that this is going to be the new way of buying and selling. And this is what they're getting. This is the end game. Are marginalized, pushed away, held out by the mainstream media. And uh, we've got a lot of stories we're going to cover tonight on the show, specifically a story that's gotten no attention at all because they don't want you to know about it, which is the central bank digital currencies and what's about to happen to our money supply as these globalists get their hand on the control of the tokenization process, telling you what you can use your money for. Uh, turning it off whenever they want, and how exactly this will be implanted into your body. Wait a Boom. So when we went into the word for the word Mark, right, in the book of Revelation, and we tied it into something that was going to be placed into your body, you had men like those of the ISUPK, men like those of the ISUPK, the K and the IUICs that came out and tried to speak against it. Well, what's going on now with all this information coming out? Right? You go to Revelation the 16th chapter, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse, it says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, to receive uh rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that word for mark. Is the word karagma, right? And it goes into that. And it goes into that karagma, right? It says in an imprinted mark, right? Thing carved, sculpted, graven work, right? So what are they doing? They're carving, they're cutting into you. And the root word for that word, Karagma is Karax, which goes into what? The delivery method, the palisade. It says pa a pill or steak palisade going into that huge gauge, um, uh, huge gauge syringe that they use to put the chip in you, right? And then the root word for that goes into what? The ledger system that they keep talking about. It says uh, that root word for... The final root word is graphle, which that word graphle goes to what? It says, uh, to commit to writing things not to be forgotten, write down, record. So that's the ledger system. So the prophets have been shown who they are, man. The prophets have been shown who they are, man. Scriptures tell you that, that you, would, you would be able to discern between him that serve the Lord and him that does not, Right? Well, the men of great millstone and those that preach the same doctrine are being shown to be the ones that are right when it comes to prophecy. And that's big as far as the scriptures go, because the scriptures tell you the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Right. So for you to have the spirit of the Lord, you have to have the mindset to be able to go into these scriptures and break them down. And this is all beautiful, man. It's beautiful that we're finally getting down to the time where shit is starting to speed up. The fact that this 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 information is is being spoken about on a constant rotating basis, even from people that aren't Israelites, and the the communication and the, and the, the display is just it's just widening to where it's going to be on mainstream media all the time. This is beautiful, bro, and we're going to have to have a mindset to stand and stay in the Lord, because this is going to be the temptation. Right? Let's get that in the book of Revelation. Revelation 3 and, and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Right? And when you go into this, let me, let me go into the blue letter, actually. Revelation 3 and 10 in the blue letter. Look at this in the NLT. He says, because you have obeyed my command to uh, to preserve 
I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who who belong to this world. Right. And that's what this time is for. So the ones that have been faking a funk. Ain't been taking the message serious. Ain't, ain't, ain't been brotherly. Having a. Having a, 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 a you know, sub submitted themselves to the will of the Lord. Haven't been getting their mind in a way to where, hey, I, I don't have any cho other choice but to trust in the Lord. Right? This this time is to try you. But for the brothers that have been in this thing, the Lord said, what? Since we kept the word of the Lord's patience, since we preserved it, since we held it as the apple of our eye, well, he's going to keep us in the orientation. And when you go into that word keep, right? It's a uh, Tereo. It says to attend to carefully, to take care of, guard, to keep one in the state which he is, to observe, reserve, to un undergo something. You see? So for us keeping this word, the Lord's going to keep us from our temptation. He's going to preserve us. He's going to take care of us. He's going to walk us through the fire, man. It's like the Lord was in that fire with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the holy children, right? He's going to be in the fire of the, of the furnace for adversity in this in this turbulent day. Right. And we're going to have the mindset. What? Uh, hey, it's, the Lord said, well, you can't serve two masters. Either you're going to love the one and hate the other. So people in this world. That only thought about things of this life, they're going to look at this and be like, well, I, I got I got to get paid. I, I, I got to live. All right. But we have the understanding that the scriptures say that the life is more than meat and raiment. That the just shall live by faith. We're not going to live by bread alone. We're going to live by the faith in the heavenly father because he's the one that provides the bread. He's the one that provided the shelter. Right. I want to get in with this one. I don't want to make this long. This is uh, Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seemeth evil to you to serve Yahweh, right? Choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood. And, and we've served this devil who was a god in this world. He was set up as the god of this world. It says that were of the, it says that were on the other side of the flood or the gods the Amor of the Amorites whose land ye dwell but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And this is the mindset the brothers have got to have in this day. Shalom.